morning guys and welcome to another video of ours. Um, it's quite early in the morning and we're in Hertfordshire at the moment. Just unloading a van, two alcove units and a TV media unit going in the next two days. This is Sean. You alright Sean, how's it going? Good, good. So in here we've got our doors, our units, all our shelves. We've taken all the tools out already. First things first is dust sheet, so that's what we've done. <laughs> And in this spot we've got a TV media unit, so it's just going to be a lower level unit which is 500 deep and then an upper unit which is 300 deep. TV will ultimately go back into that space. Um, at the moment all this job is just MDF unpainted because the customer wanted um, to finish it off by hand. Ultimately this room needs to be finished off first. The customer asked me if I can just finish this flooring off before I start as the um, floor layer let them down last minute. We've got one alcove unit going there and one alcove unit going there. That now we've put these bearers down. Um, we've leveled two bits of 2x1 timber down onto packers and we've just used a selection of 15mm, 12mm, 18mm MDF offcuts and some plastic shims as well is our selection. And that is the first thing we do before we put our lower cabinets in. And this is what we're trying to achieve. We've got two alcove units side by side and we're gonna be fitting this lower cabinet and this lower cabinet on top of the bearers. And that is the side profile, which is this square we're gonna be fitting in a minute. If we go through, it's exactly the same on this side. So we're ready to go on this. We've got a larger TV media unit to go in here. So this lower cabinet is going to go in. So the units are in now. As you can see they've been screwed down to the bearers which we leveled up at the beginning. And we've left equal margins both sides so we've centered the units. This particular unit had to be cut out. We've got a trim going on the front here that we're just going to get notched out because we had to pinch a little bit of space. And we've taken a lot of the meat out so when we put our trim on the front that's going to beef that side back up again and the same on this side that's ready to um, for the top ledge to be fitted all right so up units have gone in now as you can see and they simply just fix to the lower units with screws underneath the ledge both sides and then all we need to do is just fix them in the top corners and that is sound that is nice and strong and this upper unit went in. So again, we're just going to get fixings in the top corners, probably just above the shelf where you can't see the fixing. We're going to fill it anyway, ready for the painter. <laughs> Look, I just want to get that on camera. That cup of tea, Sean made for me. Cheers for the tea, Sean. Yeah, that's right. It's my first tea I've ever had from you. So I'm going to just show you how we do our trims. It's just one of the simple techniques that we use. At the moment we're using a piece of six mil, all this is going to be painted so we're putting pencil marks on the actual trim because we can sand it off after if it was painted we'd be using masking tape and take a bit more care so what we do is we take the overall length from the underside to the ceiling and then we'll mark our line and cut we've already cut this one to length and then all we do is take increments so we're going to measure up 300 we're going to do it in 300 300 600 900 1200 1500 1800s mark that on the wall and we'll do the same on the trim so 3 6 9 12 15 18 obviously this is the bottom because ultimately that's going to sit there and we want a 5 mil overhang of our trim so we're going to measure from the wall to the front of the trim plus 5 mil and that's all we're going to do so imagine that was 40 mil so that's 40 plus 5 so we've come across 40 plus 5, 45, and we'll just do that on every increment. And once we've got those lines, we just draw those lines together, and it's pretty simple. So I've managed to cut it down, and got it back. As you can see, we give it a little dry run, make sure it fits. There we go, nice and tidy, five mil overhang all the way. So what we'll do is I'll get mitre, mitre fast, or our mitre glue, the spray part will go on this edge 
and then the glue, the liquid part will go on this edge. So we'll just do a little squiggly line all the way up where it's going to hit that edge. Take into account that there's a five mil overhang, so don't get any on the overhang. Once that's applied, all we literally do is get it up against the wall, down to the ledge, push it up against the wall, and we'll just firm it down bit by bit, like that, until we, you know, until we work our way all the way to the top, and it's all nice and solid. And then just keep firming it down for five seconds. So we need to cut this shape out. Um, we've got a piece of 25 mil MDF. And what we've done is we've measured from the underside of the ledge or the top of the carcass to the bottom of the carcass and measured from the wall to the inside of the carcass in a few spaces. And then we've scribed around this by just taking a few measurements and that's what we've got. So we've got the filled edge and the trimmed edge on the front and that just basically just goes in that gap like that, like so, nice and flush and that will get glued with Mitre Bond or Mitre Fast. Great stuff for trims. All right, so really good progress at the moment. So now we've got all our trims on. And they're just six mil trims. And the doors, handles are on. They'll come back off again once the painter comes by and we go on the other side. Trims are on. And the same on that side, Sean is just cutting these little beads because they'll all be, if you show one bead up against where they're going to be. Okay, so yeah, there we go. That's how we're going to do it. Well done, Sean, that's nice. Bead's going to go in that corner and we're going to run the beads all the way along the top as well. And we've got this slightly bigger bead, which is like 45 mil beads and that's the profile. Um, that's going to go right at the top and then the little beads are gonna run down the sides. So that's what we're gonna do next. So here we go. Finished article, ready for painting. As you can see, we've painted over all the beads that we've applied just so it's got a nice key for the uh, painter. There you go, that one's done. So there you go, these two are finished too. There's one alcove unit, there's another one, both the same size, all the trims, all the moldings on, all the beads handles ready for painting. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Bye bye bye.